Hey guys, hello and welcome to this XSplit review on my YouTube channel. So, uh, what is XSplit? Basically, it's a broadcaster and recording software, but it's really powerful. So it has really many features. It is much better than Bandicam or other software uh, that I know. And yeah, it has multiple features. And let's see which features these are. So, um, as you can see, we have... Uh, 12 buttons here with different scenes on it. So um, if you want to record an explorer window for example You can add a source which is screen capture and just select this window So now this window is selected as you can see you can um, drag it in here and size it, up, size it up and Yeah, you can set an other scene so switch to scene 2 and as you can see it has a nice animation here and this animation is also recorded. So I'm recording with a different recording software at the moment because I want to show you XSplit. And it would be a bit complicated if I would record XSplit with XSplit. So um, if I would do this, uh, this would look like this. So add a source, screen capture and desktop. Now scale this up and have a look at this. So this would be pretty annoying. So if I move this, it will be moved in here. And yeah, so this would be somehow mm, um, annoying. So um, to switch between these scenes, you can set a, a hotkey. So go to tools and slash general settings. And now, as you can see, there are five different, six different tabs here. So general audio hotkeys, accounts, profile and advanced. So uh, in general, you can just uh, enable game sources and copy the link to the clip uh, clipboard when starting a broadcast. So this is pretty useful if you want to Twitch or YouTube live stream, which is also a feature of this recording software. So you can live stream and broadcast and record at the same time. So this is really awesome. And yeah, I want uh, want to copy the link to the dashboard uh, to the clipboard now. Uh, you have a thumbnail preview and here you can set your audio sources so you can record the uh, default your speakers if you want to or you can disable this and okay and you can set your microphone so my microphone is on a microphone 900 and then you can set your hotkey so there are pretty many options here so switch to scene one is control plus one and switch to scene two is control plus two so you have to set these hotkeys uh, if you uh, if you launch this exploit the first time so maybe they could uh, add this feature that they are preset keys that would be really cool so now let's see how this looks so apply oh one thing uh, you can also link your YouTube account and your Google Plus and your Facebook and Twitter account to this so you can share your videos directly after you finish recording So this is really cool and yeah, I uh, Deleted my name out of this field because I don't want to have it in uh, Internet so public visible and so I can set my birthday. It is the 13th of July 18 oh no uh, 1999 so apply and now let's see how it looks when I switch these scenes so ple pr press press control and two oh control and one and as you can see if we open our explorer window it is opened in here and now if we switch to desktop recording control two looks like this so you can also uh, change the animation so uh, view Scene, transi scene transition and you can make collapse so control one like this and like this and you can add multiple sources so this is yeah this is pretty awesome so you can just screen capture as I showed you you can came you can capture games so there is a software called XSplit Gamecaster which uh, is only set to game uh, for game recording and it has Twitch live streaming and Hitbox live streaming and it has as many features as Broadcaster has. So it's a, also an awesome program and maybe I will do a review of this too. So you can add a media file, um, you can add a webcam, you can add audio devices. I added my microphone of course. You can add a text. So let's look at this. Um, 
set a text this is just awesome uh, um, and now you can set different fonts so let me do Adobe Arabic no um, Arial yeah Arial and now uh, you can set different opacities so completely transparent or like this and like that you can make it bold or italic and underline it and strike it out and align it right and middle and so there are so many features and you can also align it at the bottom and now you can add a scrolling so if you add a scrolling it looks like this and it will uh, yeah just scroll through the uh, through the screen so this is pretty cool like in TV and you can set it really fast or yeah, like this so which is a good speed I think this is a good speed yeah so you can also set different colors if you right click here and <laughs> oh my god this looks so hilarious uh, different colors so here full dynamic range and brightness and here and transparency again and a chroma key and a color key so here are the colors let's set a nice red why doesn't this work I don't know okay it should enable some colors here but okay yeah good so and do you have different layouts so white and hide Oh my god. Uh, wee, wee, wee. This is funny. And transition so you can uh, animate this text. So this looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely check out XSplit. It's really really cool so it's really useful for tutorials and every other recording on your computer. So definitely check it out and yeah. I'll end this video for now and yeah, see you next video guys.